Let's start the final activity for today's lecture. Design the lead compensator for the control system with the following open loop transfer function to have a static error constant kv equal 30 and 10% overshoot. g of s is equal to 300,000 k over s times s plus 50 times s plus 120. So the first thing we're going to do is use the static error constant in order to find k. kv is equal to the limit as s approaches zero of s g of s, which is equal to 300,000 k over 50 times 120, and that equals 30. So when we solve, k is equal to 3 fifths. For step two, we create the Bode plot for the open loop transfer function using k equal 3 fifths. For step three, we look at the Bode plot to find the phase margin, and we see that the uncompensated phase margin is 50 degrees at omega c gc equal 26 radians per second. Now, also for part three, we need to find the desired phase margin, but this time we were actually given the percent overshoot. So the first thing we do is we calculate zeta. Zeta is equal to the square root of the natural log of 0 0.1 squared divided by pi squared plus the natural log of 0 0.1 squared and we get that zeta is equal to 0 0.591. And now we calculate the desired phase margin equal to the arctangent of two zeta over the square root of negative two zeta squared plus the square root of one plus four zeta to the fourth power, which equals 58 0.59 degrees. And once again, this is our desired phase margin. Step four, the compensator required angle is phi equal to the desired phase margin minus the uncompensated phase margin plus five, which equals 13.59 degrees. Then the attenuation factor alpha is equal to one minus the sine of phi over one plus the sine of phi, which is equal to 0 0.62. For step six, we find the magnitude where the compensator has the maximum phase angle, which is m is equal to one over the square root of alpha, which equals 1.27. And for step seven, we analyze the Bode plot to find the frequency where the magnitude is 20 log base 10 of one over M, which is equal to negative two decibels. So when we look at our original phase plot, we see that this happens at omega M equal to 31 radians per second. So here's the phase plot, 10, 20, 30. So we're approximately here. And right around here, we have negative two decibels and 31 radians per second for omega m. Step eight. We find that lead compensator corner frequencies, so T lead, is equal to one over omega sub M times the square root of alpha, which is equal to 0 0.041. Step nine, we find the zero and the pole for the lead compensator. So Z lead is equal to one over T lead, which is equal to 24.41. And P lead equals Z lead 
divided by alpha, and p-lead is equal to 39.37. Step 10, we find the gain for the compensator, kc, which is equal to 1 over alpha, which equals 1.613. And finally, we write the compensator, gc of s is equal to 1.613 times s plus 2441, divided by s plus 39.37. The last step is to check your work. And we will do this by examining the compensated body plot as well as the step response before and after compensation. For the body plot, we see now that the phase margin is approximately 57 degrees at 31 radians per second. So we see that the phase lead was added right at the 31. We didn't quite get to the 58, but we can examine the step response to confirm that this is enough in order to get our 10% overshoot. And what we see here is the compensated system does have approximately a 10% overshoot. And having the 56 degree phase margin, our zeta and percent overshoot was enough for us to satisfy our design. And this concludes today's lecture on lead compensation design.